get the ability to control the burn a whole lot more effectively with the with pellets. This here, you've got they've, they've perfected the, the controls and the amount of water and the amount of circulation and to the point where you can uh, you get the functionality of a boiler system by using wood pellets. From Alaskan wood, even. They didn't ship the wood up from lower 48. Uh, basically, we're just heating the water to heat the floors. We're kind of doing a several step process. We're using the boiler to heat the water and we're dumping it into two. 80 gallon storage tanks over here. These storage tanks are going to act like a uh, tempering tank essentially. Then what we're doing is we're drawing the water from these uh, storage tanks and we're sending it out to the radiant floor. We have here our, our supply pipe coming out of the tanks. Um, we've got a thermometer on here that's reading right now at 100 degrees. So we're going out into the slab at 100 degree water, returning from the slab at about 81 degrees right now. The wood stove is, is nice warm heat, everybody likes to back up to a wood stove, but it's very local. Um, and if you have a, a house with multiple rooms divided up or several levels, it's real hard to get that heat to transfer evenly throughout the whole house. Whereas with a pellet boiler, you can actually link it into your standard plumbing hydraulic system and, and cause everything to have equal. Yeah. You kind of feel the, the warm, the warm places. Yeah, you feel a little bit of, a little bit of difference, particularly when you put your hand on the part that doesn't have any heat in it. You got tubes in this, in this part. And this heat here is going to eventually going to be start transferring just because of proximity is going to transfer into this cold mass of concrete. So essentially it's not just heating this, it's got to heat all of this area and down. You know, it's going to keep drawing that heat out. It's going to heat it down into the gravel. I think they said they got about a foot to thereabouts, maybe more gravel before we get to the foam. But there's a foot of foam down there which is going to help to retain the heat. But it's, there's a lot of mass here. But once it's warm, then it's going to retain it and, rate and radiate it back, radiate back, you know. So it'll be a be a, an effective heat sink is what is what you're looking for.